Hello, everybody. The knife I'm showing you right now comes to you from H and K, and uh, that is, of course, part of Benchmade knives. And this is one of their foreign-produced knives, uh, made over in China. And a lot of the HK knives are foreign produced. Not all of them, though. This particular one, though, comes in right at the price point when what you get for a Chinese knife. Uh, this one is called the HK Flak. F L A K Flak. And so this model number is the 1414. One, one four one four one. Let's see if I can get that to focus on the blade. No, probably not. Terrible camera. A little bit. There we go. And so you can see it is a partially serrated blade. Has a spider hole, spider hole style opener. Titanium nitride coated blade. And this particular knife is an assisted opener. Assisted. So it has a really nice tension bar, and this one I have worn in, and I was worried because a lot of assisted knives just don't work very well, but this one works just fine after being broken in. At first it was a little stiff, wouldn't always deploy, but now the lightest touch will bring that blade out, and the opening hole it works very well for that. So you can see the shape of the knife right here. It has G10 handles and a deep carry pocket clip that is one position only and that is tipped down right hand side so the the deep carry clip is nice not sure if mine is a defect or if they're all like this but see the clip itself at the bend right here it's kinda not straight and when you look at it like this you'll see that it doesn't touch let me show you on this angle it doesn't quite touch the G10 handle there you go take a look at the green so it's only barely touching the G10, like it might have got bent somewhere. So I don't know if they're all like that or just mine is, but st pocket clip still works, still makes great contact, still holds it very well. Uh, but overall length of this knife is seven and three quarter inches. Uh, blade is uh, a bit over three inches. Knife is centered very well. And let me give you a glimpse at the lockup. Lockup is right where you'd expect it to be. No play or anything in the blade. Very solid. I haven't adjusted anything on this. You know, like I said, out of, straight out of the box, it was a little bit stiff on the opener. And I've seen a lot of cheap assisted opening knives that just don't work very well. Um, you know, the Gerber Instant I own, for instance. I should have brought it out, but terrible assisted opening. Not always de uh, dependable. This particular one, though, is just as good as... Uh, some USA made knives, like let me show you uh, the Kershaw Blur, I always love showing this one off. But very nice assisted opener on that, torsion bar, same here, I'm not sure if this one is a torsion bar, I would assume it is however, very quick. You know, left or right handed, works very well either way. <clears throat> and the knife be uh, came super sharp straight out of the box. So this is really impressive. Only downside to this knife is finding it. This particular knife, the flak, was made exclusively for Big Five Sporting Goods. So that if you don't live on the West Coast, you might have never even heard of a Big Five Sporting Goods. So it might be hard to locate. Luckily though, eBay comes to the rescue. You can pick up this knife for around $35 to $45 online. So it's hitting that same price point that you're going to get the Spyderco Tenacious or other um, you know, foreign imported knives that are of similar quality levels. So if you want an HK, you want that Benchmade uh, warranty behind the knife, buy this one right here. There's also another knife um, that, that uh, Benchmade had made for Big Five. It's called the Espionage. I believe that's its name. But it looks a little different. It has a flipper, uh, but also exclusive to Big Five. I don't have one of those. Didn't quite you know, suit my fancy, I guess you could say. And this one did. So um, Black Friday special, this knife cost me around $19, or was it $17? Either way, very inexpensive. Um, nowadays, you can get them online a little bit more than that. But still, worth the purchase if you like the brand, if you like the company, and you still want to support Benchmade, who no longer makes Benchmade-branded Chinese knives. So the red line Benchmade is long gone. Now we can buy H&K knives from Benchmade at an affordable cost. And so while today you can't own a Chinese-made Benchmade knife, what you can own is this knife right here, the H&K. And if you ever owned a Chinese Benchmade knife, in particular the model, the Vex, you'll notice the handle 
is identical. It is the same exact handle as the Benchmade Vex, um, made in China. It's also the identical handle to this particular knife here. Let me pull it out. This one is the Sanrenmu 913P. And so you can see the knife itself is very different, the blade, but the handles, let's take a look. Handles are pretty much the same. The Sanrenmu even has left or right side carry on this pocket clip. So different style of clip, different style of blade. The Sanrenmu is actually a little bit thicker overall, but you'll see that these Chinese factories, a lot of the times, they will produce the same knives as these co parent companies order, but under their own branding. So most people aren't going to be able to get their hands or see in stores, of course, the Sanrenmu knives, but you can order these online as well. And this particular one has that sheep's foot satin blade, but the knife itself is very similar, um, just a different shape of blade. So kind of neat to see the comparisons there. So a Chinese made knife supported by American company, Chinese made knife, just the Chinese company. But it is the identical handles, so probably made in the same factory, I would expect. So if that means San Renmu is making Benchmade's H and K knives, then they're in good hands because San Renmu is a great uh, Chinese knife company. So I just wanted to show off that comparison before I say anything else. But uh, really neat, really neat. So real quick summary of this knife, very good. I recommend it if you can find one. Also comes in Tan G10. So let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for watching.